Okay, our second video here in the Seychelles. There's no cars on the island, just some golf carts, and there's a little road that connects some of the island. So I thought I'd take some pictures along this road, just walking along. Now that's a model. <laughs> so here's several photo sessions we did. This is the first spot we picked. There's a palm leaf hanging down. I said, hey, this is a nice spot. So I said, go stand there. <laughs> and I pulled out a 10 foot light stand, my really lightweight travel impact LS10. Put my Godox AD600 on top with a little eight inch frosted diffuser over the light. Soften it up a little bit. The camera was a Sony a7 III and I'm using my tiny little 35 millimeter 1.8. The behind the scenes camera I'm using here is a teeny tiny little Osmo action. Great little camera, I love it. Even with the diffuser over the light, it still basically falls in the hard light category, but it doesn't really look like it. Jungle canopies usually have a nice diffused overall light, so you just need a little bit of extra light on the face to even it out. This turned out pretty good. This was a nice warm up session. So we walked a few hundred feet further and there's this big giant rock on the side of the road. I said, go sit on that thing. But be careful, there's all kinds of spider webs ever. Man, the spiders here are huge. They're like the size of a hand and there's spider webs everywhere on this island. That was the one freaky thing about tropical islands. Anyway, so she goes over there and the only light I used was a little AD200 with a snoot, which shines a very narrow beam of light so it only lights her up and nothing around her. I didn't need a lot of light, just enough to even out her face and make it stand out a little bit more. Whenever possible, I try to make sure the subject is in shade so I can light it the way I want. I started with a Zeiss 55 1.8, great little small all-purpose travel lens, which I made several videos about. And I got a little closer here with my Zeiss 85 1.8, another great lightweight travel lens. Okay, moving on, another 100 feet further up the road, we went to the other side, the beach side of the road, and my main light was again the AD600, and I put a 10 degree honeycomb grid on it, which is kind of like a snoot, so it can only shine a spotlight only on her and nothing around her. I did a video on the honeycomb grid, I'll put the link down below. And off to the side, I hid my little 200 in the foliage to create an edge light on her from the side on her hair. The lens was my all-purpose Zeiss 55 1.8. I just love this lens. Here's what it looked like without any flash, and here's what it looked like with. We just moved over another 20 feet to where we could see the ocean water through the foliage. With this outfit, she had a little softer look, so I thought, let's use softer light. And since there was no wind, I could use a softbox. So I pulled out my Godox 120 centimeter umbrella, a really portable softbox that folds down to almost nothing. It's great for traveling. The light, my AD600, fits inside the umbrella facing backwards, reflecting off the silver umbrella and then bounces through the white diffuser covering the whole front. Gives really nice soft light. It's really portable, gives off great light, it's really inexpensive, but the downside is the light is enclosed inside this thing so it can overheat after a while because the heat can't go anywhere. But it takes great pictures. And once again, I had my 200 coming from the side and slightly behind her. You can see it right here. It's not behind anything, but it's so well hidden in the foliage, you can't even see it. Still had my 55 1.8 on the camera. Did I mention how much I love this lens? And this is what the pictures look like right out of the camera. No LUTs, no logs, no color grading. I don't shoot raw. This is just proper white balance, lighting and exposure. And no, nobody drove by in a golf cart the whole time we were doing this. There's only a handful of people on the island. It's so quiet here. All we heard was ocean waves and birds. Kara was getting a little hot and sticky in her outfit because of the humidity, so she started cooling off, which was, of course, to my benefit as a photographer.
so awesome to have such an easygoing model. And she likes to carry things. So that was our little casual walk photo shoot, all within a few hundred feet of our villa. There are photo opportunities everywhere. All you have to do is fall in love with photography and the possibilities are endless. Stay tuned for more amazing locations on this amazing island next week. Music